this game has overwhelmingly positive reviews on Steam, which does not happen often. And when it does, you just know it's going to be good and you kind of be doing yourself a disservice if you didn't check it out. So that's what we're doing today. Today we're playing Paper Lily, which I'm super excited for because I've always wanted to play an RPG Maker style game. Like back when RPG Maker horrors were popping and it was like a trend, like I was so obsessed. I watched playthroughs of like all the major ones like Mad Father, Al Oni or the Purple Demon one, You Made Nikki, like oh those were the days. <laughs> and I feel like this game might bring it back just considering how well it's been received. I don't know how like horrifying it is. It's psychological horror, but if anything, the story is going to be really good. I can tell you that much. Apparently, this game has demons, fast demons, and social anxiety simulation, which love the first two, excited for that. Last one. I feel like my life could be considered a social anxiety simulation. So that's that was gonna hit the closest to home be the most terrifying part probably. Okay, let's just jump right in. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. This might have to be like a two-parter. This game is like four hours long. And I love that I get to practice my voice acting skills or pretend like I can be a voice actor for a day. The first item in a to-do list is always the hardest one to cross off. If we could just get one item done, the rest would surely follow. We just need to start. That's why some people find the easiest item first and start from there. It gives them a better chance at getting something done. Yes, one step at a time. There's no need to rush. Okay, this is because setting things in motion is difficult. Choosing to do homework is difficult. Choosing to clean your room is difficult. Choosing to get out of bed is difficult. Change is uncomfortable. It's always easier to leave things the way they are, to let the flow carry you. So true, we're getting deep already. Until you reach a point where doing nothing does more damage than doing anything. Oh my god. When this happens, change is no longer a choice. It's a consequence. Is that also a choice? The choice to do nothing? Oh yes, yes, it's most definitely a choice. For now, I'll focus on getting the first item on the list done. All I need to do is choose. Coffee, green tea, or strawberry milkshake? Well, obviously the only right answer here is green tea, hello. And also, flan macarons or chocolate eclair? The only right answer here is tiramisu, but I'll give macarons a close second place. A tea and macarons. A tea and macarons. A tea and macarons. Yeah. Okay. I got this. A tea and macarons. A tea and macarons. It's not that hard. Just need to go in, order the tea and macarons. <laughs> what did I get? Oh. Uh, oh. Uh, hello. What the? This girl startled the soul out of me. She's so cute! Look at her! Look at her little bow. Little scarf. Her whole vibe is really unsettling. What do you mean? She's adorable! Let's get this over with quickly. Um, hello? Could I? What can I get you? A tea and macarons? Macarons? What kind? How many? Uh, the pink ones? That can be strawberry, raspberry, or cotton candy. Do you want dark pink, medium pink, or light pink, girl? Maybe one of each? The minimum is six. You gotta order six macarons? What kind of roll is that? Okay. Okay. So two of each. Two of each, yes. And a tea, please. Tea or bubble tea? <laughs> What the f is bubble tea? Okay, tea I think. What kind? Black, purple, oolong. There's purple tea? Okay, wait. This girl is stressed out. Not the social anxiety simulation at the beginning. Calm down. Uh, which was it? It was none of those. I wanted green tea. Maybe bubble tea then? You still need to choose a flavor. 
god, you're giving this girl choice anxiety. Have you even looked at the menu? Girl, I just want a tea, please. It's not that difficult. Just get me any tea. Um, actually, just a bottle of water, please. A water and six macarons? Yes. Alright. What a weirdo. <laughs> She's judging. Have a seat, I'll bring it for you. Why is she saying this girl's vibe is off? Just because she has social anxiety? Like, please. That was embarrassing. I scared the cashier and I couldn't even get what I wanted. I can't even do this much. Oh. What is it? Did you notice that girl too? Is it just me or does it seem strange to you? I was just about to say the same thing. She gives off creepy vibes. What do they mean? She's literally just sitting there. This again, just ignore them. Do you want to move? I'd feel impolite switching tables now, but... Yeah, let's go. Go, go, before she curses us or something. What the heck? What is this? They're so rude. It's just two girls. You can put up with it. They actually moved. Oh. That girl. Isn't she the daughter of the family who lives on the next block? Oh my goodness, you're right. Man, just being around her gives me the chills. What is it about her, I wonder? Whatever, she's a freak. Mommy, can we leave? That lady... Shh, don't look in our direction. Finish your food and we'll go. I don't want it anymore. I want to go. My god, why is everybody scared of her? I've met her brother though. He was in one of my classes. She's nothing like him. Mommy, she's scary. I pity the poor people who have to share a classroom with her. Well, imagine what her family must feel having a daughter with such a reputation. Oh man, and after what happened. Sucks to have a broken family. They don't deserve that. I can't. What is the accent doing? <laughs> it's probably her fault, don't you think? Everybody here is so rude. Uh, I couldn't even get what I paid for. Oh my god, girl, just ignore them. Or better yet, go over to their table and be like, shut the f*** up, because I can hear y'all. But she has social anxiety, so I understand why she wouldn't want to do that. <sighs> that was terrible. I knew it was a bad idea to go out. Things to do before I die. Go out. Eat the meal mom left me. Fill up the bird feeder. Feed my Tama ghost. Say goodbye to Hero. What do you mean before you d This is a very short list, girl. It's a very achievable list, which is a little concerning. At least that's out of the way. I need to lie down for a minute. Looks like we got a visitor, though. Speed and interact with the environment. <gasps> Burb! I love burbs! A crow keeps watch in front of your house. Crows can save your game. Save often, since the future is uncertain. Okay. Saved. Maybe it's waiting for some food? Oh. I brought the bird food with me. I just have to fill up the feeder. Press escape to open the menu and see your items. Use an item, stand close, and select the item from the menu. Got it. Inventory. My personal phone, Hero bought it for me. A list of things I want to do before I die. Okay, I think she has to up her ambitions a little bit too. All natural, non-GMO, certified organic bird food. It's as expensive as it sounds. Okay. You fill up the bird food bowl inside. Oh my god, this list is getting real short real quick. Burp. Oh. I can save again. Save often. <laughs> save often, they said. Yeah. One little task and I save once again. Look at this. It's so cute. The music. It's giving cozy right now, but it's probably not going to stay that way. 
While moving, hold shift to run. Okay. A pink plant. A shoe rack full of shoes of various colors. Some pictures of places around the world. Mother and father go on trips a lot. I don't even know where they are right now. She's neglected! Are you serious? Are you serious? That is so messed up. No wonder this girl wants to die. <laughs> a painting of a sleeping cat. She's always alone. A large cupboard that could fit a person. Okay, what is the storyline here? They were talking about something that happened with her family or something. She's nothing like her brother, which I assume is the normal one. But I didn't really catch what they were talking about. We don't eat here as much anymore. A small couch that used to be your favorite. I'm assuming she's closest with her brother and like he acts as a parental figure because her parents are completely absent. TV. Sorry, I'm gonna examine everything in this house because you never know. It would definitely hurt if this fell on top of somebody. Okay. Interesting note. You can see the neighbor's house from here. Let's try to avoid eye contact with them if possible. Or you can look directly at your neighbor. You can see the neighbor's house from here. Make eye contact with them, make them uncomfortable. I've been outside enough for now. Okay. Scare your neighbors. You can be the creepy girl that looks at them. This is the laundry room. I'll never understand why doors around the house need to be locked. Maybe Hero has the key, but I don't need anything from there. Like, you can lean into the creepiness and just be the creepy girl and freak them out at night. Oh, mirror. Sort of bathroom supplies. Your reflection stares back at you. Trash can. Empty as it should be. Can I pee? Nope. Upstairs. Wait, what's over here? Okay, dining room. A landline phone. Dial a number? Sure. I don't have a number to dial. I just realized. What if I try this? No, I should- Oh, never mind, never mind. I was gonna say dial 911, but I would never do that, because then you're, you're- you're clogging up the 911. Okay. A bowl of fresh fruit. Checking the contents of the fridge calms you down. Do you want to have the leftovers mother left for you? She said she needed to lie down, but like, sure? <laughs> For a last meal, it kind of sucked. Oh my god, this girl is literally gonna... She's literally gonna do it. Her last meal. You hardly ever use it. Turn on the tap, sure. I don't know why I did that. Yeah. Oh, there's a note on the table. A note from your mother. Read it? Yeah, sure. Your dad and I will be back on Monday. There's food in the fridge. Make sure to heat it up. Call us at, at 195-224 hashtag one. The heck? If there's any problem, mom. Well, there's not a problem, so I don't think I need to call her right now. Okay, let's go up and take a nap, I guess. Oh. I think I'll go straight to my room. Oh, god, okay. How should I do his voice? Lacey! Hero! You scared me! What? Did you go out? I did, just for a little bit. Seriously? Yeah, I grabbed- Whoa! You went outside? Into the world? That's incredible! I'm so proud! A week ago, you weren't even opening the front door! She finally went outside! The tides are shifting, history's being made! Next, you'll be going to the market, then back to school. You'll make so many friends, it's gonna be amazing! I, I really think you're exaggerating. No way! You've been cooped up for so long! It hasn't been that long. Now that you've mastered that, we can go for an ice cream. Together! No way. It didn't actually go that well today. I messed up my order, and I left really fast. Then I'll order for you. I'll do it until you can order on your own. It will get better. It won't, unless I fix the root cause of the problem. You mean, you're still doing the ritual? Yes. I see. Well, I won't object anymore. Just be wise. I'll be outside if you need me. What ritual? Oh, so 
so cute. Oh my god. My brother. Girl, don't do it. Your brother loves you. Don't do this. I'd rather not go in without permission. Lacey, don't die. It's a painting identical to the one on the left. Why do you guys have the same painting? And It's a painting similar to the one downstairs. Get some more variety of paintings. It's a painting identical to the one on the right. Okay. Is this my room? No, probably my parents' room. Computer chair, yours is better. Classic alarm clock. Father doesn't trust the alarm app. Sewing kit. Oh, the wardrobe. It doesn't close well anymore. Open it? Okay. There's a few clothes inside. This closet's gonna be something creepy, I can just tell. A plant. We have several like this one. Okay. Nothing of interest in general in there. This is my room, I presume? What's this? We have so many rooms! No reading space would be complete without decorative books. Winter vacation photos, you're not in any of them. Bro, what the heck? She's the black sheep of this family. Oh, is this my room? Ah, finally. Oh, I skipped the two other rooms, that's fine. Ugh, why is life on such a high difficulty setting? She's a gamer. <laughs> Maybe I'll just nap this day away. No, 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 what am I saying? I have things to do. Especially after today's experience. It's clear that there's no other way to move forward. Sigh. Oh. <sighs> Alright, let's not waste time. Oh. This letter is the real deal, isn't it? Just holding it makes me nervous. Obtained ritual letter? I still can't believe it actually arrived. On the forum, some people waited for months and it never came. What ritual? But for me, it only took a day. This isn't my first ritual, but it's my first time getting intentionally spirited away? Anyways, I need to tie a red thing to the phone, paint some symbol at the front door, then go to sleep. Sounds simple enough. For the phone, I can use a ribbon or a thread or anything similar that's red. For the front door, a marker or do I need to use real paint? And I need to finish it all before the sun rises. Maybe it won't be that simple after all. Find the ritual items. Something red to draw, something red to tie. Paint simple tie string on phone cord set alarm clock. Jesus. Okay. What does she mean spirited away? I left the browser open on some forums. Check out the forums? Yes, because I need context. Devil's Eye Forums. How to get letter. Breaking the rules? What's with the weird ads? Tips on bus ritual. Where does the bus go? Whoa. I'm gonna try a ritual, but I don't know how to get the letter. Help? Read the sticky. You need to send a letter with just your name in it. If you get chosen, you're gonna get a golden envelope at some point. Okay, Willy Wonka, Glasco. Okay. I don't get it. Is it like my full name, nothing else? What's the address I mail it to? Does it need to have a stamp? Nobody's helping me. You all suck. Again, the information you need is in the sticky. Read the rules next time. <laughs> Mods. <laughs> Average day as a moderator. Breaking the rules? You're wrong. If something is in the ritual rules, you gotta respect it or else you're toast. Have you ever done a ritual? I'm offering legitimate advice from people who have actually survived them. Please stop spreading misinformation, you're risking people's lives. And also, it's your. Are you five? <laughs> are you five? Just because you've been on this website for longer doesn't mean you gotta be an entitled asshole. Some people of us are trying to have fun here. You're right. I don't know why I bothered. Have fun with your ritual. People are always bickering on the forums. What's with the weird ads? Does anyone know what the deal is with the ads at the top of the forum? There's doorknobs for sale. What's next? Washing machines? I also want to know, TBH, that ad has been up for a while. Someone must be making the big bucks off broken doors, Lamau. While the admins have not shared with us the sources of the ads, please remember that the site is free. Ads are a necessary evil for it to stay afloat. Fair bro, you make a good point. I think I'll buy a new doorknob for my bedroom to support the site, okay? Okay, sorry if my question was out of place. I'm happy to have this site even if it's funded by Big Doorknob, haha. That's where I ordered the 
return doorknob, which I left by the window. Supposedly, I can use it to return home after doing the ritual. It smells like a scam, but if it's to placate Hero, even a scam will do. I'm confused. Why is her brother okay with her getting spirited away? Like, what? Any tips for the bus ritual? I started the other day, but I couldn't get through it. After I finished the preps, it felt too real. I still want to try it at some point, though. That person might have some ideas. Thanks. If you're unsure about going through with a ritual, it might be best to pass on it. However, curiosity is a powerful enemy, so I'll say this. Get off the bus before the end of the line no matter what. What's at the end of the line? Who can say? Thanks. Actually, someone dared me to try a ritual, so I want to show them I can, but I'll think about it. Better safe than sorry. Who is this guy and why does he know everything about these rituals? Has everyone ever tried the bus ritual? Where does it take you? Is it safe? To your deathbed. If you're looking for safe rituals, you're in the wrong place. Okay, I think I'll just try it. YOLO, lol. Good luck, let us know how it goes if you don't die. Any update? Dead probably, lol. Don't be so insensitive, probably just an inactive account. Inactive because dead, lol. <laughs> so it sounds like she's doing this ritual to like, go into the afterlife, the spirit world. Like a very complicated way of offing yourself, I guess. But apparently if you get a return doorknob, you may be able to come back. Blue, pink, looks like I don't have any red markers. Maybe in my parents' room? Alarm. I'm so used to pushing snooze on this thing. I would not do it again out of reflex and ruin the ritual. Set it for midnight? Sure. It's done. Oh. Calendar, it's still stuck in March 6, six months ago. Is there even a point in turning the pages? This year is more or less over anyways. Your Tama Ghost! You fed your Tama Ghost. Nice. Say goodbye to heroes, the last thing. Sheesh. Happy little green plant. It doesn't need a lot of watering, thankfully. I should take all of this with me. Oh, notebook. Okay. My notebooks organize my thoughts. Rune. The rune for the ritual. Table salt, salt for self-defense, Reta uh, return doorknob, and finally this thing. If the information I got is accurate, then this is my ticket back home. Place the letter and to-do list into the notebook. Your papers and notes are stored in your notebook in your inventory. Okay. I see diary. I don't feel like going through it right now. Okay. It's not time to open them yet. What does that mean? Change into indoor clothes. Yes. Oh my god, we look so cozy. Let's go. Cozy fit. Ah, it feels so good to change into lighter clothes. Sadly, I can't stay like this. It makes me feel lazy and I have things to do. So she's changing back. Girl, okay. What's this? There's some red ribbon here. Yes, we need that. Cozy gaming space by the window. Oh, her room is so cute. I doodle sometimes. Leftover orange juice. It's too warm to drink now. We have the red ribbon. I think we just need a red marker in my parents' room. What was in these rooms? Oh, bathroom. Okay. Oh, there's a red lipstick. I, I wonder if I can use something like this to draw the symbol. Okay, sure. It's just you. It's giving Undertale. So that could be used to draw, potentially. It's locked. Black, black, no red markers here. Maybe downstairs. Hmm. Oh! Hello? Pick up the phone. Hello? Hello? Oh, it's you. Is your mother around? She isn't. Would you like to leave a message? Uh, no, that's alright. Bye. Bye. The neighbors still have a hard time talking to me. Why? I don't understand. Why don't they like her? There's also a few neatly outlined soft supplies. Red marker, perfect. Yes, indeed. It's Hero outside. Hero. Ooh, look at our little, like, garden area. What is this? Oh, let's save. Hero. Oh, okay. It's Hero. I like how his name sounds like Hero. It sounds like he's gonna be a hero, but I don't know if that's something that he's hinting at or not. I wonder what he's reading. I probably shouldn't bother him. 
He's always so nice to me, but I'm sure he needs a break sometimes. I have a stalker. <laughs> uh, no, I was just passing through. Sit, sit! Um, okay. Listen to this. One for sorrow, two for mirth. Three for a funeral, four for birth. Five for heaven, six for hell. Seven for the devil, his own self. Spooky, huh? Do you know what it is? A poem? Yeah, about counting magpies. They're kind of like crows, but cuter. Huh. Supposedly, the number of magpies that you see determines your fate. But there's so many variations to the rhyme. How can you properly predict your fate? I'm not sure I believe in fate. It could be nice to believe in something. Hmm, I believe in... Macarons. True. I thought you would say something like that. I believe in... Lacey! I believe you can achieve your dreams. Uh, right. Then I'll try to believe too. Don't hesitate to talk to me if you want. You never bother me, okay? Oh, okay. Hero, you're too cheesy. But thanks. So cute. What is that book anyway? Legends and nursery rhymes, that sort of thing. I got it at the bookstore down the street. Is it any good? Sure, you might enjoy them. They're not all creepy. I think she'll enjoy the creepy ones, to be honest. There's a legend that says the heart of the witch can grant any wish. Hmm, sounds like there must be a catch. Maybe, I haven't finished it yet. Inventory, red string. Okay. Is a bunny rabbit not fine? To do list? Oh, ritual letter. It's the bus ritual instructions. It details how to summon a bus which picks you up at night. Read the full ritual. Yes. Okay. You must play alone. Requirements An indoor location, a landline phone, a red thread. Red paint, a rune, a clock. For preparations Complete the preparation before the sun is set. Tie a red thread to the phone cord. Using red paint, draw the following symbol on the exit door of your chosen location. The door must lead outside. Set the alarm clock to midnight. Instructions, go to sleep. When the alarm clock rings, get up and dial the following number on the phone. What does the hashtag mean? Wait, is that actually part of the number? When the line connects, say the following words. My bus is late. Board the bus before it leaves. Place a rune inside the bus ticket machine. Remember, do not bring any weapons with you. The phone may no longer look the same at night. Remember the placement of the numbers? Oh shit. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, zero at the bottom. Hashtag on the right. Okay, I'll remember that, surely. What's the door I'm using? It has to lead outside. Should I use a front door? Time to draw. Okay, front door it is. What a strange symbol. Now the house will be even more cursed than it already was. Great. Let's save. Um, let's try calling my parents. Let's just see what happens. Hashtag one. Hi, hi, who's this? Hello, mom. Ah, Lacey, what is it? I was just calling to check on you. We're very busy. Do you need anything? No. Then I'll call you some other time. Okay. Figured it was gonna go something like that. What's here? Oh my god, I didn't even look here. Okay, well, it sounds like I did everything. I need to tell Hero to leave the house. Okay, got it. I finished setting up the ritual. I see. Um... How is he okay with this? Like, there's no way he's okay with this. Is there really nothing I can do to make you change your mind about doing this ritual? Hero. I know, I know. I said, I know I said I'd stop, but I'm just worried. As you should be, because what? <laughs> I'll be fine, and I'll see you tomorrow. All right. Will you see her tomorrow? So I wanted to ask again, just in case, would you mind not being in the house tonight? Understood. I don't think anything bad would happen, but just in case. Got it. Don't worry. I made some plans, so I'll be out late tonight. 
Okay, just don't be here before 12.30. Don't worry so much. 12.31 on the dot. Really though, take care of yourself. Make sure you get back in one piece. I mean it, be safe. Okay. Is he maybe okay with this because he's also too young to be like... Or maybe he's just old enough to not believe in this so he's not concerned. Ah, uh, it figures. I can't say goodbye to him properly after that, oh well. Why did I have to say I'll see him tomorrow? Girl, don't do this. I don't- I can't tell if she's doing it because she like is suicidal or if she just feels like she'd rather be in a different world because she doesn't belong in this one. I feel like Hiro either doesn't know what the ritual's gonna do or he just doesn't believe that it's gonna work. Because if he did believe, I feel like he'd be a little bit more insistent that she not do it. Uh, I guess so. I'm too nervous to do anything else anyways. Then again, I'm not sure I can actually fall asleep. I'll just lie down and close my eyes. Like, I would never do a ritual like this because I'm too superstitious that I think it would actually work, you know? This place, again. I guess I really did fall asleep. Sometimes I wake up here after falling asleep. I have this dream a lot. But it seems I can't leave until I see it through to the end. Girl, now we're doing dream sequence. I can only wake up from these dreams when I reach the large wardrobe at the end. What is this? Narnia? The end of where? Oh. Oh. Okay. Well, here we go. Once I cross this area, this dream will be over. Welcome back, Lacey. We've missed you at school. You'll have a lot to catch up on, so your classmates organized the reading material for you. You can find it in your locker. Please be sure to look over everything carefully. You wouldn't want to fail the year. Sigh. Oops. <laughs> Okay. Oh! They're laughing at me. I just need to open my locker and then the closet to end this. My locker is... <gasps> it's pretty obvious, isn't it? Why? Why do people do this to her? <gasps> What the heck? Trash fills your locker. What a mess. People doing this to her or is it just like a metaphor sort of thing? <laughs> I'm so sick of this dream. It's time, right? Once I'm ready to go, I just need to call that number. Right. Is that it? It's too dark to see right now. Oh, <gasps> it doesn't seem to be working. Oh. Okay, so I woke up before my alarm clock even rang. Let me just look at everything. Look at the mirror. Okay, it's still me. Okay. Whenever you're lucid dreaming, you gotta look into the mirror just to make sure. Why did that actually scare me? Jesus. It's locked. Oh my god. Hero? You shouldn't go in. Can I see the neighbor's house still? You see the neighbor's house from here. There seems to be someone staring at you from the other house. <laughs> that actually scared me. <laughs> A freaking door slam, okay. That picture did not look like that. Huh, wasn't this cat sleeping? Sorry, what the heck is over here? The footprints come from under the table. But there's nothing there. Should I go out this way? Huh. I need to call the number. Yes. Okay. Oh, wow. That is different. Okay. Nine, nine, nine. Two. Eight. 
one hashtag zero. You hear some strange noises on the other side of the line. What will you say? My bus is late. Already there. Get to the bus before the time runs out! Oh, uh, okay. Run! How did it get here so fast? Let's save. Front gate, get on the bus? Yes? <laughs> Where is this bus taking me? I'll be back soon, maybe. Once I get in, there will be no turning back. Hello, bus driver. I'll just drop the rune into this box. <gasps> oh. Looks like there's no one here. This spot is good. It's giving me spirited away! Well, not- Well, kind of. With, with the little tentacle arm. Spirits. Oh, she is- going to the spirit world and they did use the word spirited away so I feel like it's kind of a reference and so we're off to who knows where what would my parents think right now they're probably not thinking about you at all not gonna lie not to be mean but like based on the evidence their daughter is on a bus headed straight towards certain death it's hard to say this but they would be happier without me oh even if I die on this trip, life will be better for them. And Hero, no, but Hero loves you, girl. Doing this ritual was the right choice. Whether I make it or fail, whether the Lacey everyone knows disappears or a different Lacey makes it home, everyone wins. This is so sad. Girl, no. No. In my mind, I went through everything I knew about this ritual. Then I remembered the words from a forum post. You must get off the bus before the end of the line. The letter said that the bus would simply take me to my destination, but that person was very insistent on not letting that happen. But they also said, if you don't get off by the end, you could die. So isn't that what she wants, technically? I mean, or maybe she just wants to go to a better place. Like, she doesn't want to die, die, but she would rather live in the spirit world sort of thing. I don't know. Seriously, you have to get off no matter what. The user that posted it has a big reputation on the forum, so their words probably have some merit to them. But won't I be breaking the rules if I do that? Also, what if the bus never stops? I can't just jump out the window, right? As I played with my thoughts, my consciousness started to fade away, and soon I was fully asleep. Girl, you're gonna miss the bus stop! Oh, she's dreaming again. Something tells me the dream's gonna be a little different this time. What? Again? This is ridiculous. I was just here a few minutes ago. I need to get this over with quickly so I can get off the bus. Okay. Run. I keep forgetting to hold shift. Okay. Run. This is the same. Welcome back, Lacey. We've missed you at school. Blah, blah, blah. It's always the same text. I know we'll be back in the spot next time, even if I crumple it. Finally, white light is all you can see. My locker. <gasps> Why did that scare me? Okay. Huh? What's that red thing? It's the first time I've seen it. Pick up the red item one? Okay. A red item. I can't tell what it is. Okay, because it's a dream and dreams are always kind of weird. Is there something back here? Hello, sir. Nope. Okay. Look like a spirit alien thing. No idea what's going on, but I'm creeped out a little bit. So okay. <gasps> oh. oh! What is this thing? Wait, the bus stopped. I need to get off. Get off, girl. Get off. Get off now. Thank you, bus driver. I thank the bus driver. Don't kill me. She actually got off. Who's that? Huh? The burp. This should be far enough. It doesn't look like they all chase me. This 
isn't the kind of place I expected. Oh, another stop. I made it to a forest, now what? Arrive at the forest, okay. Explore the forest. Can I find someone to help me? Okay, well, let's save first, girl. Hey, burp. Curl standing on a rock. It doesn't seem bothered by my presence. That guy's gonna help me. That guy's gonna help me. Oh, there's another stop. Whoa! This street is clearly looping. There's little point in running around like this. What stop sign? The schedule is empty. It's likely that there's no next bus coming. The trash can is overflowing with emptiness. Lamp post that makes this feel like a safe spot. Going into the forest, I guess. Okay. Girl, what is your game plan here? She's just going and like... She's just like, whatever happens, happens. I die. I get what I want. I don't die. I, I don't go back. That I still get what I want, I guess. I suppose. <laughs> Shit. Okay. Find someone to help me, she said. Um, okay. What's this say? There's a sign that says Daylight Gate. It points straight ahead. Okay. The sign says Daylight Gate. It's pointing towards the trees. It's back here. Nothing. Okay. What? Ma'am, I'm confused. Hello? Isn't it pointing this way? It seems to be a bit loose. You could rotate it to match the other one. Let's do it. Huh. Oh! Okay. Is it that kind of thing? Another signpost here. It's loose so it can be rotated. Alright, I think I understand. The sign says daylight gate. Rotate it? North? I think I can open up a path toward the daylight gate if I rotate the blue signs toward the correct direction. Okay. Signs a secret. Rotate it? Wait, hold on. What? I don't know. Um. Okay, this is confusing. What? It doesn't seem like a secret. Uh, what's this one say? Train station access. Rotate it north. What is that? Okay, hold on. Oh wait, okay, no. That's pointed north, so that will point- Okay, okay, I got it, I got it. Uh, east? South? Oh! What's that? Bro, what? This is so confusing. <laughs> this is so confusing. What's going on? Okay, this is definitely not what I'm supposed to be doing. Okay, hold on. East? Oh, that entrance wasn't there before. Is it underground? Okay. Wait, but I feel like there's a secret here. Wait, that's train station access. So... Oh, okay, that did it, I think? Okay, but what about the secret? Hold on, I need to do the secret. The north, maybe? I'm really confused. <laughs> Oh, this. Jesus. The dark path like, through the trees. I okay, sure. It's a donation box. The label reads, All proceeds go toward the construction of a bridge somewhere. We appreciate your donation. The lid is loose and there's a single coin inside. Take the coin. I feel like I'm stealing from their bridge donation box. Okay, take it. Should I have taken that? I don't know. I think the purple lights are like where you should be pointing them, I think. So there's like one or like up here. This should point north then? Oh, it's right here. Okay, I got it. Enter, yes. Oh, that's fun. A swing set moves eerily, though there's no wind. There's something underneath. It's a door knob fragment. Okay. Don't mind if I do. Okay, I think we're good. 
think we're good. Wait, is there a secret up here too? Train station access. I thought this was gonna lead me back to the train station. Is this not... Is this the right way? What the frick is this? Okay. Some posters with an eye crossed off. Oh. What is the- oh, okay. I'm after the train stops is posted here. The clock up there makes no sense. Okay. Point operated vending machine is filled with normal looking snacks. Buy something? Uh... Should I buy potato chips? I don't know. What if I need the coin for something else later? What is this? Okay. Is this out of order? Is there a coin anyways? I only have one coin! What do I use it for? I don't know. I can't decide. I have indecision. Choice paralysis, as she experienced before. Looks like the numbers ran out though. What is down here? Oh, what's that? Pair of scissors here. Sure, fun. Uh, well, when you put it like that, <laughs> why do they do this to me? I mean, it's better to have them than to not, right? I don't know. Oh shit! Why did the lights turn off, please? Oh, that's what they meant by- Oh god, shit, I shouldn't have done that. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. Okay, can I have my potato chips? Oh, there's a coin, okay. Is there a crow anywhere here? I feel like I kind of messed up a little bit. Okay, hold on. Hold the frick up. Uh. Hold on. Um... Let me just go back over there, you know, just gonna ignore this part for a second. Just gonna ignore that part for a second. I don't know, because my objective is to go to the gate and I feel like I don't know if I should be going this way. Hold on. Is it just me or is this hallway like really long? Wait, what is going on? I don't think this hallway is ending. I can't go back? I just wanted to save my game. Bro, I'm stuck. What the heck? Poster with an eye. Okay, I saw you, I. You moved before. Now you're not letting me. I picked up the scissors. I shouldn't have picked up the scissors. I messed up. Oh god. Please help. Help. Oh my god. Okay. Hold on. Should I get the potato chips? Sure. This looks like a regular pack of chips. Eat the pack of chips? Okay. Hmm. Should I really eat this? I didn't get to have my macarons earlier today. And mom's leftovers are kind of stale. So I'm not hungry, but maybe I should make sure to keep my energy up. Okay. I shouldn't have ate that. If I learned anything from Spirit Away, you don't eat spirit food, but I just kind of did it. Okay, oopsies. As I thought, these are just classic potato chips. That's good, I guess. Hmm? The list of ingredients is nonsense. What did I just eat? Attention, we'll promptly put you to sleep. May occasionally cause hallucinations and headache. This is bad. If I'm going to fall asleep, I need to find somewhere safe. Um, oh no. I feel really dizzy. This isn't good. Oh no. That was the most peaceful sleep I ever had. For the longest time, I've been having nightmares where I would wake up in that dark place filled with bad memories. Even though I'm used to it by now, it gets really tiring. I often wake up feeling like I didn't get much sleep at all. But this time, I didn't dream of anything. Hmm? What's that sound? It hurts. What's happening? Oh! <gasps> Oh no! Is this a hallucination? Oh no, the pain is too much! This is real! I can't move! Oh! 
I can't breathe. It hurts. Please. I don't want to be awake. It hurts. Oh, God. That's the eye monster. And one, five. Become snack. I ate a snack and I became a snack. Great. What? Oh. Wait, where did this save? Oh, okay, it saved. <laughs> Let's not buy. Or maybe we do buy and we don't eat it? Sure, I'll buy it. I'm not gonna eat it though. No. It's gonna go down. Yes. What's this? Uh, no. Hold on. Oh, it's gone. The guy's gone. I don't know. Pro probably go... Uh, I would never say follow the blood, but I think this case maybe follow the blood. Why not? Okay, maybe it's a, you know, a clue. Um, fun. You take a number from the ticket dispenser. One, two, three, four, five, six eyes. Okay. Three cross for me. And a ticket as a hint for which one to pick. Okay. What's that? I don't know if that's the right way to go. Uh, well, let me check the other ones. Hold on. Oh wait, they all got eyes. Oh, wait, that one had eyes in the. Okay, maybe it's this one then. Cause the eyes. Cause the eyes. Hello. That doesn't seem to be doing anything. Okay. Okay. Take a number from the ticket dispenser. Uh, ant bug thing? Okay. Was that the sound of bugs? I don't know. Is that what bugs sound like? I don't know. What about these other ones? That sounds like a rope. Hold on. Okay, this one. Ooh. That sounded like something we squished. Was it the first one? I don't know. Okay, that time it sounded like bugs, right? Skull? Okay. What the frick does a skull sound like? That's a plant. That's another plant. That's a deader looking plant? How am I supposed to know which one is the right one? <laughs> this is ridiculous. The last one is the one that looks like it's dying. Like, are you kidding? Like, this one looks like it's dying. But it was somehow wrong. Okay, I'm gonna try one more time. There's no way. Okay, let's just try another, the one that's not dying. I don't know. There's no way it's this one. This doesn't look like a dying plant. They're all wrong. There's no- Kill the plants. Kill the plants? Use the salt. No. Okay. It should have been this one though. Then maybe it has to be a dead plant? Cut it. Okay, now it's dead. Oh god, f you so much. Okay. <sighs> what is that? The sign lying on the floor it says daylight gate. Pick up the blue sign. Yes. Wait, so the- Does that mean I can go now? <gasps> okay, maybe I needed that. Okay, maybe I needed that. So maybe it's good that I didn't go to the daylight gate side. I don't know, this is what I get for not going to the, the gate first. Oh, it's this pole. Hmm, wasn't there a sign here before? 
Oh, I put it here. That's how I get back. Okay. This is not that easy. I never would have noticed that. I just thought it was just a freaking stick. Okay, so now I can go back. It's because the eye guy messed up. He messed up my path. That's why. Okay. So now I have the sun. Why did I go over there exactly? Why did I do that? I don't know. The scissors, maybe? Okay, maybe. Now what? Daylight gate. At daytime, the gate opens and the lamps turn off. Day? I don't even know what time it is. Is there any way I can get soap without waiting? Okay. This gate impeding progress. I need to find a way to open it. Okay. These all look plugged in. Hmm. Is that a button behind the lamppost? Okay, so daytime, all the lights are off? Is that what it's saying? Ah, I see how it is. I really dislike this kind of puzzle, though. Dang it. Girl. Oh! Wow, that was actually crazy that I did that. I just randomly clicked like three buttons and it worked. <laughs> That is crazy. Okay. Burb! They're everywhere, huh? Slot three, I guess? <laughs> I don't even know at this point. Okay. It reads, stop. Do not walk inside the fairy ring. But if you do, please ask them to take their business elsewhere. Okay. You can sit down. Campfire. There's no fire, so right now it's just the camp. True. That's a tree. A lamppost. A wooden log. What's this thing? Sign says Alba shop. Curtain covers the stand. Peek behind the curtain? Sure. Some trays align for display, but there's nothing on them. Hmm. Why get full of bones and other terrible smelling organic garbage? Should I stand inside the fairy ring? <gasps> Okay. Now I see why they said to not. What? What happened? It was so sudden. Am I trapped inside of something? I can barely move. Ugh, it's all soggy and squishy. This is suffocating. I don't like closed spaces. I hate this. I'm gonna be sick. Wait, calm down. I can move my arm somewhat. Think. Let's see. Do I have anything that could help me? Maybe something sharp. Oh, scissors! So the scissors do come in handy. Sorry, but I don't feel like being eaten today. <laughs> we already got eight in another life, girl. Oh! Oh, she f***ing them up. Oh, whoa, okay. I can cross off being digested alive from my to-do list. Good thing I had those scissors. Ugh. Now, where am I? Oh, we are in the stomach of something, girl. You're trapped inside the fairy ring. Find a way out. Okay. <laughs> this is terrible. It's not nice in there. Uh, alright. Uh... This one seems to be digesting something. Oh. Oh. Do I still have my scissors? I still do have my scissors, okay. Is this gonna be a whole ass puzzle? Blue mushrooms are lining the floor. Huh? Is there really no arrow to go from here? How do I get the heck out of here? What if I cut them? Eat this. No, I was gonna say feed it to the thing, but okay. Should I really risk opening it? Sure. Go around and find out, girl. <laughs> oh. Uh, it's a person. 
Are they alright? They seem asleep. Well, I'll look around why they wake up. <gasps> ah! 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 <laughs> get it off! Get it off! Get it off! Oh god! Oh god! Oh! Did you just save me? Everything was so dark and gross, I thought I was gonna die for real this time! That gooey stuff was eating away at my skin, so itchy! Ugh, I still feel it! I don't want it to eat me! Oh god, I didn't plan to get digested today, this is not how I pictured my death! <laughs> what is this place? Oh. Uh, no, we're in the fairy ring, aren't we? No, there's no way to get out of here. This is it. We're dead. I might as well go back in the plant. At least it'll be faster. No, I don't want it to end this way. Hey. Cut it off. What? I said cut it off. Uh, sorry. Is that supposed to be... A joke? You know, I'm actually okay with dying. But I feel like being eaten alive isn't really the way to go, you know? Uh-huh. I see. I guess so. My name's Oi. Oi? I? Ow? <laughs> Oi. Owie. Aoi. Ow. I don't know. Ow. Lacey. Hey, were you trapped in one of those things too? Yeah. How'd you get out? Scissors. Whoa. If I get out of here, I'll always carry scissors on me. I promise you. No. I swear to you. Uh, okay. What am I supposed to say to that? So, um... How do we get out? I don't know. We're absolutely never getting out of here. What are we gonna do? Should I go back and get eaten by that plant instead? That might actually be better than losing my mind as I walk endlessly through this wildish place. Can you imagine it? We would go insane. I hear the fairy ring slowly digest you, even if you're not caught in that plant. Eventually the skin on our feet will start chipping away from walking on this visceral floor. Then we'll start crawling when our feet no longer work, hoping for the sweet release of death. We might as well end up even eating each other. Oi. Cut it off. R right. Sorry. <laughs> I'll look around first. I want to take another look at the next room. Okay. Can I follow you? Yes, I don't see why not. Yay! I promise I'll be useful. Sure, pleased to make your acquaintance. I wonder if this girl, or boy, can help me with my problem. Were they melting? They might be a spirit or something. For now, let's focus on getting out of this place. We have a buddy! Oh my god, we have friends! Does this even classify as a plant? Not sure. It kinda looks like one. My god, we have friends! Let's go! Getting eaten was so worth it! Wait, now it's open! Huh, the path is open now. We need to walk slowly and uh, keep an eye out. Keep an eye out for what? For fairies. Lacey, don't you know what this place is? No, not really. <gasps> Lacey, this is the inside of a fairy ring. Um, the mushroom circle from outside? Yep, that's a fairy ring. So this place is underneath that circle? Yeah. Oh, can you tell me more? Let's see, I only know the things everyone talks about. For one, fairies live in fairy rings, and they're really nasty. Fairies. They look nasty too. They have this egg-shaped head that's separate from their body, and they're white, and they have big teeth, and some don't have eyes. But even without the fairies, winding up inside of a fairy ring is, well, to say you get stuck here for seven years. But nobody has ever escaped because they usually just die before that. Oh god, this is horrible. We're not gonna escape. Even if we somehow make it seven years, that's only a myth. Maybe it's meant to instill hope in the poor souls that end up here. Like us, this is a dead end! Oi. Cut it off. Sorry. <laughs> Are the fairies dangerous? Yeah. But everything is dangerous. The floor here is also slowly digesting us. I guess you don't feel it because you have shoes. <laughs> I only have socks, so it's already eating away at them. Oh. Should I offer Oi my shoes? Uh, 
should we be a good person? I already kind of saved her, so I think that's already enough, you know what I mean? Like, we don't need to go a step beyond that, I think. Okay, no. That's not. Who knows what this foot will do to my feet? This person is not human, so they'll probably be fine. Okay. We have a friend. What's this? This must be under that weird fella's house. You know, the sculptor? I have no idea who you're talking about. Not really. Oh, it's a cranky old artist. I've never spoken to him because he's a bad mood when he's tired. And he's almost always tired. But I think artists are really impressive. Sculpting is really hard. Especially hands. I can't seem to get my hands right. Oh, that explains. A bunch of rubble. A strangely shaped pot. Was she saying that her hands are shaped weird? Did she draw herself or something? I'm confused. What is this skinny ass corridor? Oh, large skeleton of an unknown creature. What died here? Something big. Oh, oh, the hands are melted. Her hands. <laughs> a dragon. A dragon. Was I right? Uh, how should I know? Oh, large skeleton of a dragon. Do dragons really exist in this place? Isn't it so cool that humans have dragons in their world? I like dragons here too. Never mind. What? Girl, what what the heck are you? There's no dragons here. I feel like I'm walking down someone's intestinal like their colon or something. What is that? There's a large hole on the floor. It's deep and dark. It doesn't seem very smart to try going down there. Okay. We sure are walking a lot. <laughs> Lacey does not give a f this girl has been through it all and she's just like yeah, I'm walking through some intestines. I don't care. My feet don't hurt or anything. Don't worry. It's not like my hands are melting and my feet are melting off. <laughs> I bet there's no way out. Hmm. There's always a way. Right? <laughs> Whoa. I like that. Lacey's like, I got plot armor, girl or dude. Don't worry. Uh, okay. Oh! Hmm? Bus stop. Oh my god, it's swallowed a bus. Is that the bus stop? Not the current one. But we must be right under the current one. Wow, we sure walked a long way. Did I walk all the way back to where I started? What do you mean? This is so fun, I haven't waited for the bus in ages. There's nothing fun in waiting for the bus. Is she waiting for the bus? Bus, it has seen better days. Isn't that cool? Do you think they ever got the passengers out? I can't see inside, so I guess we'll never know. Maybe it's best that way. I think it would ruin my day if we found corpses in there. Is your day not already ruined by being trapped in this place? Why is she just waiting? Oh, I skipped past that. I hear once they eat enough, they kind of opened up and swallowed the surface. So when that happened, one of them swallowed the station and a whole bus. Apparently Glenn was really unhappy, so they destroyed most of the fairy rings. Glenn? Wait, why don't they just destroy all of them? I don't know. They usually remove some of them every few years. Now that you mention it, I'm not sure why they don't just remove them all. Maybe it's too much work to remove the fairy rings. Hmm, I wonder. Oh, I know! Maybe there's something even more terrible underneath, so they're using fairy rings to sweal it away. No, that can't be it. I'll keep thinking. Schedule seems to show quite a few buses coming every day. Strange, the other schedule I saw was empty. Oh, back in the day, the buses used to come more often. This is probably an old schedule. The other schedule you saw must be the updated one. Nowadays, it's very rare. So if you're lucky enough to see the bus, you should definitely ride it. That's what everyone does, at least. I never saw it myself. It's just a bus, though. Hmm. So, what brings you here? What brings me down here? I stepped into the fairy ring. Ah, right. Classic. <laughs> Come here often? I also stepped into it. Yes, of course. So it bring, brings you to these parts of the forest. Um, oh, I definitely can't help me with my problem. This is basically a child we're talking about. So there's no point in elaborating much, I think. I'm just looking for someone to help me with a problem. Someone like a doctor? Or an assassin? Probably more like a doctor, I guess. Oh, are you sick, Lacey? No, it's nothing serious, probably. I guess I'll be able to tell once I meet them. 
Oh, I had a friend I used to meet all the time, but it was in the supply closet, in secret. Huh? But then they died. Oh. And now I'll die too. What brings you to the forest? Oh, I'm on vacation. Oh, that's nice. Whew. What do you mean you're on vacation? <laughs> what was that? That was like a whole side story. Go oh, down the hole? Sure. Sigh, so, here we go. Wanna turn back? There's nowhere else to go, so we might as well explore whatever's down there. Okay. I like how we just had a walking sequence, but they just, they just chatted. Love that, okay. Going down to find exit. This isn't very smart, is it? Nope. Girl, we are definitely dead. There ain't no way we're getting out of here. Unless it spits us out. Hmm, what's that? Oh, that? It's a fairy head. A head? The rest of the fairy is just buried? No, it's probably roaming around somewhere. But the heads are dangerous too, be careful. What do you mean the heads are da This thing, does it block the head's view? I'm creeped out. There's another one. But this one definitely has eyes, doesn't it? Maybe they're nostrils. What? Nostrils? Uh, they're nostrils. There's there's nostrils. I suppose I hadn't thought of it that way. Anyways, how are we possible about seeing us? It didn't see us. I think it's just like that dark part. Okay, gotcha. Maybe it's smelling. It's like smelling horizontally. The range is just the few boxes left and right of it. Okay. Oh shit, now there's not gonna be any. And there's a bunch of them. This is gonna be a thing, isn't it? I wanna turn back? Wait, I can try to visualize the solution. Yes, please. It's probably something like that. Wow, amazing! Okay, thank you. Yuppery doodles. This is so fun. Love being in the intestines of a fairy ring, apparently. This is why people say the fae are terrifying. Oh shit. Eh, oi, stay close. Okay. Oh god. What about the visualization this time? Okay, those are straight. Those are horizontal. Uh... Uh, that's horizontal. Uh, where am I even going? Top right, okay. Uh, that's horizontal. Okay, that's straight. So, here. That's horizontal. That's straight. Wait, how do I get past that one? I don't get it. How do I get past it? That one's horizontal. Isn't that one horizontal too? Wait, I'm so confused. That one's straight. That one's straight. Can I go here? Nope. I don't see the solution. That one's horizontal. Oh, that was not horizontal? That was... <laughs> okay, this is bad. Okay, it's a horizontal one below, not next to. Okay. Jesus. Oh my god, is it just all this? I can't. I cannot with this. Okay. Can we do this, girl? I don't know. Yes, I think so. At least we haven't seen the bodies of the fairies around. Don't say that, girl. You're gonna jinx us. Okay, so it's one below. Oh my god. One below. Uh-huh. This is really nerve-wracking. Okay, uh... It's one below. Okay. Look top. Okay. Wow. Please no more. Please, I'm begging. Again? Down? Bro, this is like as above, no, so below, or the descent. No, the further away from those heads we go, the better. Okay. Girl, this is this is bad for us. 
We're never getting out of here. We're actually just dying. I'm starting to doubt there's an exit with how deep we've gone. Yeah, I think this is it. What is that? Bathtub? A bathtub. Why is there a bathtub at a place like this? Maybe the fairies need a shower. Maybe the fairies take baths here. At least it's not full of blood or anything. They take baths, of course. It's a dead end. <gasps> a dead end. We did all that for a dead end. And now we're just sitting in the bathtub. Okay. So we're bathing. What now? We're, we're gonna die here, aren't we? I don't know. Oh god, I really hoped I wouldn't be right. I should have known. Of course it's a dead end. But it felt more confident walking around with you, so I thought... Please, let me think. Think, Lacey. Is there really no way out? Can't we break the ground above us and just climb out? How? Well, I don't know. Use the scissors. Cut your way out. I mean, everything's cuttable if you try enough. Sorry, that was stupid. Can I call someone? There's no signal though. It doesn't work. After that, we stayed in silence for a few minutes. I tried thinking of options at first, but quickly ran out of alternatives. Maybe there really was no way out this time. Through all of this, I was awfully quiet. Um, hey. Hmm? Don't panic, it won't solve anything. True. What makes you think I'm panicking? You're melting. Oh, right. No panic. No panic. Wait. You're melting. Yes, I know! I can't stop! No, oi! I have an idea! <gasps> you can melt your way down the drain! There's a drain. And? Where do you think it leads? You want me... You want me to go through the drain? Even if I do, you can't come with me. Yeah. I got it, don't worry. If this leads anywhere, I'll find a way to get you out. Just stay put. Really? Yeah! Well, let's hope there's a way. There's gotta be a way! What is Oi? Is she like a water creature or something? A water spirit? Okay, well, here goes. What is she? He, her, them. I should have been using they pronouns. Was that a good idea? Well, it's better than nothing, girl. Yeah, and you got nothing right now, so... I love their interactions though, it's cute. How long has it been? Did I seriously just trust the spirit with my life? Oi might not even come back. Wait, Oi could have died for all I know. What did I do? Did I seriously just send Oi down the drain to die? I'm kinda of preferring the time we got ate by that thing. I should have said goodbye to Hero when I had the chance. It felt like days have gone by. I don't know exactly how long it's been. My phone battery died a long time ago. And I fell asleep for a while too. Despite this, I don't feel hungry or thirsty. I don't have hope that Oi will come back anymore. I don't think anyone will come. No, Oi. Wait. I can't believe it. I threw in everything I had. I even threw in the fish that was here. I have nothing else I can use. Is there really nothing I can feed this thing? Is there nothing I can do to save Lacey? There's always a way. There's always a way. Think, think. What is happening? Oh, oh God. I'm confused. What is that? Dead end when six ground swallow me up. Okay, well good thing we saved. That was basically a whole bad end right there. Okay, well good to know. Let's just keep going, shall we? <laughs> Oi. My friend in another life that I'll never meet in this lifetime. Wait, the, was, was that end just them like being too afraid to jump down and I die because they're too afraid to jump down or what? I, uh, I don't know. Oi. You little wuss. That's how I'm interpreting that end. That tree is massive. This probably marks the center of this place, which means this is where the search really begins. Okay, so she says she's looking for a doctor of sorts. Southwest Sculptor's house. West? 
Red's Treehouse, South Train Station, East Locked. Let's go to the sculptor, I guess. I'm a little bit confused, but let's we'll figure it out. I feel like that was a whole like mini episode. That was just an experience. Oi, my my only friend that I've made. Red's Treehouse. Who's Red? Hello. A strong lamp. Ooh, an interesting character appears. Oh my god, it looks like Delta Rune. Like the character. What? Someone's there. Nobody has come in a long time. I hope you can make it over here. Uh, what's that? Oh. Move around to avoid the spikes. Okay, it's a mini game. Jesus. Okay, that's hard. That's harder than I thought it would be. Okay. That was a close one. We almost had it. We try, I guess. Ralsei, that's his name. Ralsei? Frick. I'm just gonna skip it. I can't. It's too hard. No, I'm skipping. What the? A trap? That was dangerous. Why are there traps here? What the heck kind of road is this? Almost there! Oh, be careful not to die. How much longer is this path? Only till you get here. That was not helpful, Rousey. Okay. Not again. Frick, this is so hard. The double spikes. No. <laughs> I'm not doing that. This is a cozy gaming session. Cozy yet disturbing, but not frustrating, all right? Oh, oh my god. It's like Pokemon battles, but worse. Why am I so bad at this? Like, I don't know. Okay, okay, let's try that one again. The surely I can do at least one, right? Surely. Oh my god. I did it! Oh my god, I did one. Thank the lord. Okay, I'm not a uh, absolute terrible gamer. Okay, back full of, with garbage, probably. It's tied too hard to check the contents. Okay. Rossi. You made it! You must be really good at dodging spikes. Thank you. He seems friendly. I'm surprised you're talking to me this much. Damn, she's really at home with these spirits. They're not scared of her here, unlike in the real world. Talking is an important means of communication, no? Well, yes, but... You talk as well! I do, but you're... What exactly are you? Rune. My name is Rune, and I like runes. He's so cute. Do you have any runes? I don't. That's terrible! In the future, if you have any runes, please bring them to me. I will give you trinkets in exchange. Okay. So, are you some kind of spirit? Not exactly. We've gone by many names in the past, but humans often refer to us as demons. What is your name? Lacey. Miss Lacey. Rare to see a human around here, how exciting! You are human, aren't you? Yes, you can tell. A little bit. Yeah, you look very human. You don't look like me. Some of us may have the appearance of a human, but it's easy to tell a difference with a real one. You, however... What about me? Even though you're a human, you smell a bit like... I can't speak of them, but it's someone very bad. Who is it? It's a thousand years of bad luck to talk about it. Voldemort? <laughs> Please, I need help. Um, I know that there's something off about me. I did this ritual to find out what it is and how to fix it. I see. For a moment, I thought I might be possessed, but... Oh, so maybe... I, it's Hero, isn't it? It's Hero, my brother. He's the one that's perfect, but he actually con condemns me to a life of being outcasted because there's actually something wrong with him, and I smell like him. Oh, nonsense. Possessions are an outdated concept. Then do you know what it could be? A curse! What? 
Ninety-nine percent of illnesses here are curses. What's the other one percent? What a silly question. There is no one percent. Uh, oh, so it's just one hundred percent. Do you know how I can lift this curse? You should seek Red. Red lifts curses. How can I find Red? Incidentally, this is Red's treehouse. Yeah, I saw the sign earlier. I guess I should check it out. Thank you, Rune. You're welcome, Miss Lacey. He's so cute. Look at him. Garbage bag. Red, hello. Seems like there's nobody here. There's butterflies everywhere. A large blue butterfly on display. It's kind of mesmerizing. It's not as mesmerizing. Four small blue butterflies on display. They're somewhat mesmerizing. Some purple mushrooms. Some black mushrooms. Some pink plants. I just have to say that after the absolute horrifying events of the fairy ring, this is much more... Some books about cursed trees. Read a passage? Sure. Despite their usually small size, cursed trees have a distinctive habit of extending their roots to a distance of up to 60 meters. Their roots extend even deeper underground. It is unknown how far they are able to reach before stopping. This is kind of giving me like Howl's Moving Castle vibes only because of the furnace thing. <laughs> Calcifer, is that you? Some notes on curse removal rituals. Take the stone curse notes here. Can I even use this for anything? steal stuff from this guy when he's not home. Sure. A blue butterfly appears for each curse lifted. They are attracted to cursed trees and will burrow into the trunk, rendering it completely hollow of time. It is unknown why this behavior happens. Okay, so this guy actually might help me because it seems like this is what he does. He gets rid of curses. Let's go. A red doll. Both eyes are colored in. I know this. It's a doll that helps you reach your wishes. You color in one eye and when you make a wish and the doll will help grant it. In return, once you reach your goal, you color in the other eye. Essentially giving the doll his sight back as gratitude. Hero reads a lot about this kind of stuff. I wonder what this person's wish was. Hero reads about it, huh? You don't say. Hmm. Book filled with extensive research on all sorts of materials. There's also an AC adapter in the drawers. Take the AC adapter, okay. Stealing everything from this guy. Why do I need that? I don't know. Inside is a thing. Is this art? It looks like the carcass of a sculpture of some sort. Oh wait, the corner of this rug. Carpet here seems suspicious. Take a closer look, yes. <gasps> There's a ladder, but the edges is locked with a padlock. Let's see. It converts three prong plug for a two prong socket, okay. Stone curse notes. Stone curse, lifting ritual. Gather cursed tree bark, ink, mushrooms, and artist inspiration. Create solvent, chemistry set needed. Pour solvent on cursed object. Ink mushrooms. Tree bark, and artist inspiration. Oh, the thingy, my bobber. The fetus. A furnace, inside is a thing. Is that not artist inspiration? What is an artist's inspiration? I don't... What in the world is that? That's what I'm saying, girl. What's, what the heck is that? Artist inspiration. Is it not butterflies? Open the box, okay. Oh! Yes. This one decides to stay. Do you have help? Hello again, Miss Lacey. Red wasn't there. Indeed, Red hasn't been there for a long time. Why didn't you tell me? You didn't ask. That's true, I suppose. Do you know of another way I could find Red? Oh, I'm sorry, I used the wrong voice. I do. Would you like to share it with me? Sure. There's a lighthouse to the north of the big tree. Red goes there a lot. Have you seen the big tree? It's very large. You can't miss it. Yes, I have. Well, you have to head north to reach the lighthouse, but it's quite a long walk. It's right past the lake. But the only way to go north from here is to go through the locked site. Locked site? Near the big tree that is the locked gate. If you go through there, you'll be in the lake in no time. But it's quite dangerous in there. And you'll need a light since it's also very dark. I see. Thank you for all this information. I expected demons such as yourself to be more hostile. That is a fair expectation. One that you should keep. If anyone finds out you're a human, they will kill you instantly. Oh. Take care! Okay. 
apparently a light. But can I not do the, the thing? Okay, there's no way. There's definitely, there's definitely a way to figure this out. So I actually have to just like go all the way back. Oh, okay, thank god. Um, okay. Figure that out later. I've only been here for a little while and I already have a lead. I didn't think this would be where I might find my answers. Oh, finally. A curse, huh? It sounds probable, but how did it happen? And who or what cursed me? And why? There's too many questions. I wonder if I can call Hiro from here. Looks like I have no reception. Should I try anyways? Why not? If Hiro picks up, this is gonna be shocking. It works? Lazy! Hiro? Are you okay? How are you calling me? Are you back? Did you find out? Wait... Are you hurt? Do you need me to come there? Are you in danger? I swear I'll get one of those letters and I'll meet you in a jiffy! A jiffy! Hero, I'm fine. Oh, thank goodness. Girl, you could have been ate by some fairies and you just said you're fine? Okay. Oh, thank goodness. It seems to be safe where I am right now, so I just tried calling you. And it worked. Huh. That doesn't make much sense. It doesn't, does it? Hmm. Tell me everything. Where are you? I'm in a forest. A forest? You didn't pack bug spray! There's more dangerous things here than bugs. But don't worry, I've got it handled. I just need to find a light. Lazy, like, no! Lights attract bugs! <laughs> Hero, I don't care about tiny bugs. Just trying to lighten the mood. That's my job. Hmm. He's the comedic relief. Don't use up all your battery now. Remember, you can use a flashlight from your phone if you need a light. That's true, how could I forget? But it will use up my battery. I might not be able to call you again if that's the case. It's up to you to decide if you need it. Alright, I'll go now. You've got this! I feel like we can find another light source. Your reflection stares anxiously back at you. Okay. Let's go to... Sculptor's house? Sculptor's house. Okay. Is there a safe station? Yes, there is. I almost walked into that. Okay, actually, before I go to the artist, it's over here. Hold on. What is that? Okay. This actually looks out of place. The torn piece of paper seems to be stuck underneath. Take it. The note reads For Marcy. You found my note! I looked everywhere, but there doesn't seem to be any other path to head north other than this one. Not that I know of, at least. They locked it because of the primal attacks. Things were getting out of hands. Please be careful when crossing it. Luckily for you, I got my hands on the keys and hit them around this area. The first one should be taped to the back of a nearby tree. The tree's coloring is all wrong, so you can easily find it. The second one's in front of the weird sculptor's house. There's a row of flowers, but one of them is actually a cactus. The last one is under a fake rug near the red docks. Just turn left when you see the sign. It's a bit hidden, but I believe in you. See you on the other side. I found clues to the location of the three keys for the padlocks. Behind a tree, in a cactus plot, under a fake rug. Jesus. Okay, there's a lot going on. The note reads, Due to the recent primal incidents, we asked residents stupid enough to go inside to close the gate behind you. No trespassing, risk of serious injury or death. Let me just explore this area before I go to the artist's house, because that's definitely somewhere we need to go for sure. I don't want to miss anything over here. North? Oh, whoa! Wow. It almost feels peaceful being here. I wonder what that place in the distance is. I'm really confused right now. So I need to get keys to go through that dangerous part of the forest. I also need to find red, just in general. An empty lamp that fell from the post. Whatever was inside is gone. Can I find a use for this? Sure. Okay. Now it's just the post. What's over here? Oh, this is a tree. A red tree. It stands out. Is there anything special about it? A red tree. Hmm, there's a paper of something stuck to it. Yes. It's also no tape to a tree. 
No reads. Ta-da! Only real professional tree huggers will be able to find this key. As expected from my best assistant treasure hunter scout. P.S. We should really think of a better name for ourselves. Assistant treasure hunter scout might be too long. Okay, so that's one of the keys. Oh shit, there's a whole secret area over here. The floor here is unusual. There's a key hidden in here. Take the padlock key, yes. There's a note as well. The note reads, What do you think? I think this is my best hiding spot yet. No one would search for anything in plain sight. That one's pretty good. I would never have guessed. Okay, now we can head over to the artist's house. Okay. Hello, scope tour. Artist inspiration? This is uh, this must be the artist inspiration. And the thing that looks like a cactus, where is it? Here. Oh, I see, I see, I see. Here. Instead of cover flowers. I literally see the cactus. This is literally the cactus, don't do this to me. Oh, a cactus among a set of colorful flowers. There seems to be something hidden inside the pot. Yes. Okay, now I have all three keys. The note reads, You got it! Luckily, the creepy sculpture man never comes out, so he'll never know about this hiding spot. If you're extra brave, I also have some coins inside his place. Oh! A tall face. Reach inside? Sure! Oh, a coin. Free coin. It reads, Exhibition closed indefinitely. If you have complaints, please direct them back to where they came from. <laughs> okay, the sculpture is either broken or unfinished. You can't really tell. Hello? Is this a sculpture or a dude? A realistic sculpture of a man with a candle for a head. What should I do? Uh, I'm just gonna do nothing for now. Okay, let me just obtain a rune. Okay. I have a rune. Hello. Why aren't you hostile? Okay, let's chat. How come you aren't hostile like the other demons? I am simply well fed. Okay. Why do you collect runes? As for runes, why do you collect them? I like runes. What are you doing with them? Liking them. Is that why your name is Rune? I might have had another name once, but I don't recall. Red's Treehouse. Why do you call this place Red's Treehouse? This house is not in a tree. But the house is made of tree. Do you mean wood? No. You are so odd, Miss Lacey. What will I find at the lighthouse? Will I find Red at the lighthouse? Maybe. Red often goes there. What if Red isn't there? The lighthouse owner is a friend of Red's. He'll know how to guide you. He will not eat you, don't worry. Okay, that's good. What is inside the locked site? Mainly just forest and a monster. A monster? It's okay, he won't kill me unless he sees you or hears you. It's very dark in there, so you'll need a bit of light. If you hear him approaching, you should hide. That doesn't sound safe. Is it really the only way to the lighthouse? It's the only way that I know of. Okay, so that way leads to the lighthouse. We need to get the keys, go there. Hold on, okay. Uh, rune. You want this rune? This one. Wow, thank you! You can have something in return! Bug net? What am I supposed to do with this? Dunno, maybe it'll come in handy! Okay, I guess I'll save. Touch it. The statue feels like stone, just as you would expect. No, okay, I don't want to do those things. Hold up. Seems like someone has dug here recently. Check it out. Sure. Coin. Is that it? Okay. A strange sculpture. Like a silly guy. Worn art supplies are gathering dust here. A strange vase with even stranger contents. Okay, all the little faces he makes. A strange sculpture. This one looks kind of cute. Strange sculpture. Okay, let's go down. That is a man. Broken pot. There must be a huge sculpture hidden under this drape. Check under the drape. Hold on. What's this? Hello? Someone there. Grab their attention? Okay. Ah! Uh, oh! Okay. Uh, maybe do this first? It looks like an unfinished sculpture of a lady. She looks like she's made of porcelain. Run! 
Oh, run! Huh? Tired. So tired. He was like a potted plant. No, I what? No, a potted teacup. He was a teacup. <gasps> Not the tea. My favorite thing. Uh, he's a monster. No. No. Is he the sculptor? I'd really rather not bother him. Okay, let's give him some snacks. Here you go. Oh! He ate it. He was hangry. You're not you or you're hungry. He seemed to be asleep. I'd really rather not bother him. He's asleep? Is he dead? Go back, is he still asleep? He's still asleep! Huh, when is he gonna wake up? Oh, he's awake! Hello! Oh! A child. A child is in my gallery, but my gallery is closed. So how can a child be in my gallery? Atrocious. Smells like... Smells like what? <gasps> Garbage. What? That's not true. Who is this child? My name is Lacey. Wait, I shouldn't give up my name like that to demons. Lacey. Uh, uh, did he figure out I'm human? What is your name? Cat is what I am called. Oh. I was like a kettle pot. Kettle? Yes, a kettle. And who are you? I already told you my name. You forgot it? Maybe that's a good thing. Please excuse me, I have no use for meaningless information in my mind. No, that's okay. What's under that drape? A commission. I have been stuck, blocked, uninspired, you could say. For ages. Everything I made. Garbage. But now, suddenly I feel... Awaken. Ugh. Snip. You seem better now. You seemed, um, crazy a while ago. Ah, sleep deprivation. Oh, I feel that. However, an angel delivered salvation to me. I brought you that. If I could find this angel, well, they would be humbly welcomed into my gallery for no fee. It was me. But alas, I can't find her. Bruh. He was dropping a lot of flowers. They are the fruit of my inspiration. An artist's inspiration! Okay, pop off. Your inspiration is all over the floor. Okay, take these. Yes. What is that commission about? I keep my business matters private. And I'll take that last one as well. Can I, can I commission you for a piece? Yes, you may add your name to my waiting list. Where is it? On the wall. Sorry, I need this other flower. Yes, okay. A waiting list. It has over a hundred names on it. Never mind. Why don't you make anything colorful? Colorful? Whatever do you mean? Well, all of your art is blue or gray. Blue? Gray? He seems really perplexed. What did you smell on me earlier? I don't recall the event you're referring to. I have the memory of a goldfish. Because you don't keep meaningless information in your mind. Yes, how did you know? Just a feeling. Of course, the patterns must match on each limb. But how shall I go about it? Okay, he's concentrated. He has nothing to say to me. I have artist's inspiration. I also have the AC adapter for this thing. Though I don't know what it's for. Save really quick. I mean, I could definitely plug it in. But I don't know if it's going to do anything. AC adapter. The plug and socket don't match, so you can't plug it in. It plugs in the cable using the adapter. Cable goes down there. Oh! Hello? Cosmo, a million and alpha. Whoa! Uh, nice to meet. Ap apologies, I'm not very good at speaking under pressure. He's worse than me. Cosmo! What? Uh, you, you didn't ask for my name. Yeah, I did it. Uh, uh, 
This interaction is not enjoyable. It's nice to meet you, Cosmo. Oh, my lines are... Your, your name is... Oh, it's, um, it's not important. I've learned my lesson. I'm not giving out my name to strangers. Why are you so bad at speaking? That's a rude question to ask, girl, considering you're not great at it either. You think I'm bad at speaking? Well, you said it yourself, did you not? Uh, well... The, the, the truth is, I've been told I sometimes... Stutter! Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Do, 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 do you think I stutter? Do I think Kamala stutters? It's... Not my place to say. Well, yes, it's very obvious, let's be honest. Oh, dear. Oh! Are you okay? B -b -b Please give me a moment. I wouldn't log. Not that. I was not referring to that. A pleasure. Huh? You're not from around here. How do you know? You wander around anxiously. Oh. Sit if you wish. The fire is captivating. N no, thank you. What should I say? Can you help me? I have a question. Do you happen to know where I can lift a curse? You must seek red. Yeah, that isn't the first time I've heard that name. Everyone has heard that name. Red cures all sorts of ailments for a hefty price. Huh? That one doesn't do anything for free. You have wings. What of it? Are you a butterfly? Disgusting. He's clearly a moth. Uh, a moth is the correct term. It must be your first encounter with one. They, they say if you meet all nine moths, you'll get a reward. Folklore is all it is. Why would anyone give you a reward? S -s Sometimes you get rewarded for hard work. I've already met four. What a fool. No one will reward you for a scavenger hunt. The world is not a playground. <laughs> You're too grim, million. What do you think, lady? Uh, hard work pays off. Oh, well said! I envy your naivete. Just like this warm flame, your innocence too will soon be extinguished. He's a moth drawn to a flame! What are you? Her underboob. How do I do her, her voice? Okay. Welcome. Five coins each. Buy a fish? Talk. She looks intimidating. What are you staring at? You heard me. Five coins each. No haggling. Or you could buy all my fish for ten coins. It's a pretty good deal and I get to take the rest of the day off. What kind of deal is that? Uh, how many coins do I have? Ready to buy. What will I use the fish for? What do I care? Will you at least grill it? Do I look like a buffet? Scram. Okay, sorry girl. How much? I only have- I literally have exactly five coins. Do I use it for a fish? I don't think so. I'm not using it for something I don't know if I'm gonna need. Oh wait, wrong way. Are you okay now? Apologize, yes. I'm sorry if I was rude. I'm not very good at interacting with people either. I don't get much practice. That's a mood. Really? Mm -hmm. I think it's okay that you stutter. At least you're still able to convey your feelings. Thank you for reassuring me! <sighs> what is he? So, what are you doing here? Do you live here? No, no, no. Not many of us live in the forest. It's too distant, you see. Too distant to what exactly? The, the, the city, mainly. How do you get to the city from here? Is this a quiz? No, I... Well, it's, um, you can, you can take the bus or the train. Don't you know this though? Come to think of it, where are you from? Uh, I should be going. Definitely not from the human world. Knock on his head. Oh! <gasps> ah! Don't do that! It's fragile. Knock again. Oh my God! No! What if I kill him? But I'm in my curiosity. My curiosity. Okay. Stop! Knock again. Sure. No. Ah! Um, this isn't what I expected. Oh, 
What have you done? Oh, no, no, no. Please help me. Please buy me a new head. A new head. Anything hollow can serve as one, please. For hurry. If it all escapes. Uh, 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 run. Five minutes. Okay. There was a lot of pots over there. We got it. We got him. Don't worry. Don't worry. We'll get you a new head. Oh, this one. Take it. This could work for Cosmo. Yes. I have your head, Cosmo. Don't worry. You were due for a new one anyway. It's okay. This one looks so much better. Here you go. Don't worry. Okay. Don't even worry about it. Is this okay? Uh, I guess it could be worse. Thank you. I didn't think you would come back. It was my fault after all. You're welcome, I suppose. Oh, he looks so much better now. Oh, actually, I don't know. I can't really tell what he is, but it looks like a person dancing. Do you have anything else to say to me? So after I find eight more moths, I'll get rewarded? As I stated, it's nothing but a myth. So what kind of reward would it be? I'll discuss no further with you. Oh. Where can I find more coins? Sorry, please forget about it. She's a bit rude. Do you want me to buy your fish or not? God. All I'm trying to do is support small businesses and she screams her head off for what? Do you have anything for me? How did you cross the bridge to get all the way here? I walked. But you didn't set off any traps. I must have missed them. Ain't no way. Now we have our artist uh, mushroom trunk. Um, stone curse cure. What does that do? Does it help me? A sort of potion I made. It could cure a simple stone curse. What the frick does that mean? Can I use it on this thing? Nope. Oh wait, this thing? Is it a curse? No. Okay. Oh! Same blue candle. Um, okay. Is that the light that I need? I don't think this is- I don't think I did this right because I did look up a guide and I don't think I have what it takes to do the easier end so I think I'm just gonna have to go to the dark forest. I, I need another rune to, to unlock the thing in, in Red's treehouse but like I don't have another rune and I don't- I don't think I can get one. I think I missed one back there. So uh, I can't do the easy ending which I would have preferred. I think I have to do this one. Okay, that's fine. Dang it. How was I supposed to know? I think the rune was there where the train station was. But that's too far back. Well, I could go back, but like, it didn't work once I grabbed the scissors, I think. Unless I can still get it. Can I still get it? <gasps> Wait, maybe I can. Oh, okay, I can- A coin-eating evil vending machine. What should I do? Put it another coin? This upsets me. A coin swallowing, useless vending machine. Kick it? Yes. You vending machine. Okay. Today, violence was the answer. <laughs> okay, that's good. I thought I wasn't able to because before when I grabbed the scissors, it didn't let me put a coin anymore. So I thought it was over for me, but apparently once that shadow demon thing is gone, I can put a coin in. Okay, so I can do the easy route, thank god. <laughs> okay, listen, I don't I don't always cheat like this, but like this is just, I don't want to suffer by being too lost, you know what I mean? But yes, apparently I need two runes to get a bolt cutter from him. I move around a lot, why did you come here to Reg's treehouse? I'm looking for more runes. Yay, another one! Here's another trinket. Wow, this actually looks useful. Okay, so I need to set that to go down here. And then this way is apparently the better way to get to the lighthouse. The three keys that we got, that's one option to go 
to the lighthouse, but that option's harder because there's like a monster during that round. You have to like run around and hide. This is apparently the easier route, I think. Hello? Oh, pushing a box. A jar filled with slugs. They're alive in there. The jars underneath are empty. Oh. Psst. Hey, girly. Been a while since I've seen anyone come down here. Wait, is it, it looks like that guy that like ate me in the, the train station? Even that smug asshole hasn't been around. Who do you mean? You know who I mean, or you wouldn't be snooping around here, would ya? Red? Ding, 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 motherfucking ding. Did Red lock you in here? Correct. Why? My, aren't you asking lots of questions? Maybe I'll tell you if you come a bit closer. Get closer? Okay. That's the spirit. Red locked me in here because I can be a bit of a nuisance. I'm the only one who can cast curses. Curses? You're the only one? Then did you have something to do with my curse? If you come a bit closer, maybe I'll tell you. Get closer? Okay. Oh! Oh. Oh, okay. My bad. <laughs> I don't know if I was timed or if I could have waited, because I, I, I mean, I could have waited, but it felt like a timed type of thing, you know what I mean? Like, you don't have time when you're being strangled. I actually think I don't need to rush. Okay. Frick. Okay, let's, this is embarrassing. This is embarrassing. Oh, okay. Ugh. You tricked me. Not exactly. Just tell me, did you curse me? I did not. Then who did? You said you're only one who can inflict curses. And live. Huh? Look, girly, you got the drift. You do something I ask, and I'll answer one of your questions, yeah? You want me to open your cage? Ha ha ha, as if you could. You severely overestimate yourself, kid. No, this is something you can actually do. I can't see it from here, but somewhere in this room, there should be a jar of slugs. I can't do whatever accent I'm doing. Slugs? Yeah, large, slimy, gross, you know? Bring it to me and we can continue this conversation. I won't be coming anywhere close to you. Fair. Throw it to me from where you're standing right now then if you're such a scaredy cat. It's a Meowth accent. This is what Meowth sounds like. A jar filled with slugs. They're alive in there. Yep. And then guess, you're hungry and you want to eat them. There's your jar. Good. What would you like to know? You said you're the only demon who can inflict curses, correct? Did you place this curse on me? I'm the only demon who can inflict curses and live. Any demon can place a curse on someone on their dying breath, but I can place a thousand with no repercussions. Isn't that a bit OP? <laughs> that sounds too powerful. Why do you think I'm locked up? Use your brain, girl. Red's being a little bitch about it. You're obviously a human with a weird aura. You looking to remove your curse? Yes. Then you probably need Red's help. Yes, that's the idea. That's why I came to the spirit world in the first place. How do you plan to do that? Someone told me to go to the lighthouse, so I have to go north. Ooh, north. You're gonna die if you go through the lock site, you know? What other choice do I have? There's always another choice. Is that so? You just haven't looked around this room well enough. Here? A large mirror. Now that I think about it, this is a strange location for such a large mirror. Maybe there's something behind it? Kick the mirror, sure. A door and a keypad for a code, I think. Is it the door behind the mirror? Yep, it's a shortcut. It needs a code. Correct. I can give it to you, providing you do one more thing for me. How do I know it's actually a shortcut? You know, you just have to trust me. Sounds like a bad choice. You are cool, girly. If you bring me a blue light, I'll give you the code. A blue light? Correct. A blue light. Not green, not red, certainly not white. A blue light. I have this blue candle. Does it count? 
I'll be damned. You already have it. Then give it to me, unless you don't want the code. You'll be damned. I do already have it. Uh, where is it? Oh, here. Amazing. I haven't seen a light in years. So bright. So warm. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Thanks, girly. You really did me a solid here. I'll remember this. Here you go. Oh, okay. Thanks. What's your name? There's no need to get buddy-buddy. You won't be alive long enough for us to meet again anyway. But if we do, I'll make sure to introduce myself properly. The code for the keypad behind the mirror red house. It reads 1411. Okay. 1411. 1-1. One, one. The door opens. Okay, let me save. Look at us. We're making friends. Buddy old pals. My favorite part is still with Al, bro. My only friend. That was so funny, too. It was like an anime, like, I don't know. Cutscene. I don't know, the humor. It was really funny. What is this? Shit. Okay. The key is locked. The keypad is attached to it. Input a code. Oh, it was literally telling me the code. Shit. What was it? One, two. Oh, I forgot. One. That one down below. One, six, eight, two. Eight, two. Cool. I bet Red is the guy on the bus. He was that guy that was like, she actually got off. But how does he know me? He cursed me? No way. But who is he? I don't know. So many questions. But now I get it. She didn't come here to kill herself. She just wanted to get, uh, uh, get the curse off of her. Okay. Uh, middle, top right, bottom. So five, seven, two, nine. Two, Easy peasy. Okay, I see why this is easier than the forest, because the forest, there would have been a giant monster. Okay. Oh. Oh god, shit. That's a lot. That's a lot of numbers. I already forgot it. Shit. Two, four, eight. Definitely did not cheat for that one. Definitely did that myself, completely unaided by any sort of online guide. <laughs> Okay, well, what's that? Hello? A crack in the wall. There seems to be something inside. Oh, yes, of course. Red, why do you have this long-ass hallway down? Is this how he gets to the lighthouse? Maybe this is how he usually gets there. Oh! Find the secret passage. Whoa! That door looks exactly like a tree! <laughs> Shit. A beautiful tree of white leaves. Fallen white leaves around the tree. What's down here? Oh. <laughs> no. I think this is the, the dark forest way. That's fine. We don't need to touch that. It's over here. The bridge. Huh? How do I get over? It's too far to jump. Okay. Let's keep going. See what we encounter. Oh! I'm carrying too many things around. You got rid of some items. Oh. Okay, what items did I get rid of? Okay, it said you don't need all the things. Okay, those things are probably for the last area. Now we have a new area, a lamppost. I feel like this would be a good place to end it, but I don't know how close to the end I am. I have a bucket. Fishing rod, try it? Sure. Okay. <laughs> My Stardew Valley training. Okay, obtained green algae. Oh. I need a burp. A cage attached to a tree. Looks like I put something inside. Push the cage into the water? No. The algae inside? Okay, you're right. What is going on? Burp. Is it waiting to take the boat? Well, what's that? A note is attached to it. the tree. It says, the monster loves me, hates water. Which monster? How do we catch one of these bunnies, bro? Oh, 
What the f did I just do? What the heck? Small burrow. Reach inside? Yes. Can't feel anything special. What did I just do, bro? Did I just step on the bunny? Oh my god. Oh. Very confused. Let's see. Bitch, I see you. Where in your ugly ass head? What is this? Hello? Shrine of some sorts. There's a bowl of goldfish in it. Take the fish? Yes. Okay. Oh, maybe I shouldn't have taken the fish. Taken this. What's happening? Oh god. Last time I take things without asking. <gasps> Not this shit again. Shit. What in the world happened here? I'm so sorry, I didn't mean to take the fish. I meant to, I, that's a lie. I meant to, I meant to take the fish. I didn't know this would happen. This is kind of like the other one. You mess with the demon. I took the scissors, now I took the fish. Amazing. The bunnies are gone. <gasps> Red rabbit, it's not breathing. Oh my god. Please. <gasps> oh my god. Girl, why did I do this? Why are we not at the lighthouse yet? I thought this was supposed to be the easy way to do it, things. Okay, now what? Now what do I do? Paper? Love to meet hated water. Wait, there's no road here now. What the heck? Hello? That was a bad end, I assume. I'm a fish! She turned me into a fish! I'm a fish! Oh my god. I'm a fish. <laughs> Part of your world. Isn't that Aladdin? That's a little mermaid? Oh my god, that's crazy. That's crazy. <laughs> I'm not taking the fish this time. The pipes get clogged sometimes. If that happens, just add some white petals, a bit of black algae, and that's it. Make sure you get the colors right. The little keeper is delicate. It's a faucet coming out of the water. Turn it on? Sure. Oh, the pipes are clogged. Got it. Yes. How do I get black algae? Why petals? Maybe if I put it down there? Nope, I tried that before. Okay. What if I just keep trying? Oh, I got it! Okay, pop off. White petals, white petals, white petals. Where's the petal tree? Wasn't it over here? Oh my god, please. I'm not trying to kill him like that. Yes. Okay, I think this is all I need for to to get a bucket of water, but why do I need a bucket of water? I'm not sure. How do I get over there? I'm not sure. Where do I add it? Here? Oh, I put it in the fishbowl. Okay. I become the little keeper if I take the fish. That's crazy. That should have worked. Okay. Bucket? I don't know why I'm filling this up, but I just assume that I need a bucket of water. Okay. I am not doing anything to that rabbit, I swear to god. I didn't even touch it. Oh, I see her over there. Oh, I see you. Oh! Ah! Hello? That boat has seen better days. I could probably take you north. I can't take it anywhere without paddles. Also, what the heck is that thing? Maybe I shouldn't get on it while it's there. Girl, I have a paddle. Please, stop with the bunnies. What is this? A large structure looms over the lake in the distance. What is that place? Hmm, I can't see the lighthouse from here. It might be beyond those trees. Oh well. 
Red, why are you such a difficult motherfucker to get to? Like, why are you gonna be all the way out there? Can you just stay in your house? Jesus. She's still there. Um, I'm not sure what I need to do with this. Why do they do that? Does this thing just turn into blood? What the heck? Um, this one didn't turn into anything. Please. Okay, I got it, I got it, I got it. Okay, she's there. Whoa, what is that? Oh, never mind, that was so funny. <laughs> Reach inside, yes. Okay, I'm not missing any runes this time. Oh, there's a paddle here. Take the boat paddle. Okay, maybe I need two paddles is what they meant. Let me read this again. Monster loves meat, hates water. So... Maybe I just spray it with this? Oh, Jesus. Okay. Oh! Monster swims away after being splashed. Okay, let's go. Get on the boat. Let's get rid of some items. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, merrily, merrily. Okay. Oh, standing on a log. It's completely unfazed by the rain. My bunny's still on me. She. Okay. Let's just sit here and enjoy the rain for a moment. Ah. <sighs> A moment of peace. Red, I swear to god. Lavender flowers are growing all over this place. Pretty. Take lavender flower? Sure. Red, ya yeah, bitch. You're such a hard guy to get to. Oh? Lighthouse? Yes. Hmm. Strange door of two doorknobs and empty slots to place more. Amazing. My return doorknob fits right in. It wasn't a scam after all. Still, I'm not ready to go home yet, but I'm glad to have found this door. What the f- Hello? There's a shadow of a girl sitting on the other side of the desk. Hello. Um, what do you do here? Uh, is she giving me something? Oh! <sighs> oh, thank you. I guess. <sighs> Rainbow potions will increase your endurance permanently. It is recommended to drink them as soon as possible. Okay, drink it then. You feel so much stronger now. Cool. Close, do not enter. It's marked on a sign. Door is locked. You have that wish doll too! Various colorful liquids and drinks are stored on the shelf. What about the other one? This is giving Howl's Moving Castle, the doorknobs! Why is red so difficult to get to? I'm just- I'm sorry, but this guy is annoying me. Oh! More spirits, hello! Make it stop! Shut him up! I can't, I tried everything. Useless! I swear I'm gonna lose it! Uh, oh good, someone else came. Hey Blondie, take this stupid piece of shit and throw it in the lake or something! Squash it, strangle it, eat it, I don't care what you do! Uh, what? Our baby brother here has been crying non-stop for the past few days. Brother? In the terrarium. Oh. You're all moths? We won't be for long because this obnoxious brat is gonna make me kill myself. Ugh, will you at least shut the hell up while I'm talking? He's not talking. Is he even saying anything? Would you be so kind as to kill it for us? Me? Kill the caterpillar? Yes. Yes! Why don't you do it? If we kill one of our kind, a curse is planted on us. Please come for us. We're willing to reward you with this doorknob. A doorknob? Why won't he just stop? I'm exhausted. Um, should I kill the caterpillar? Uh, I'll take care of it. I'll take care of it. Uh, okay. You'll kill him? I guess so. Thank the heavens. Uh, but he looks so sad. You shut the hell up! You're dead, mate, jerk! Farewell, little brother. That has been a displeasure. 
what now? Uh, let's not kill it. He didn't do anything wrong. Here outside is fine. What are you doing? Don't babysit him. Kill him! The mobs asked me to get rid of him for a reward. Uh, what if I give it to that shop lady? Here, you want this caterpillar? <gasps> the shadow girl lovingly takes the caterpillar from you. Give a gift to the shadow girl. What did that do? Do you want this rabbit? The shadow girl happily takes the bunny off your hands. What else do you want? Do you want lavender? You don't want anything else? Okay. I thought she would give me something. Okay, well I got rid of your brother, so that technically counts, right? Sure, here. I did it guys, I did it outside. We really appreciate it. Oh my god, the silence. It's so damn good. Here you go, you earned it. Not sure why you'd want this though. Thanks. I don't know why I would want it either. I don't know. It's a new destination. Okay, turn on the eye. A stairway. So canon why she put the door up there. Okay. It's so dark I can't see anything. Oh. Ugh, my head. What's going on? What is going on? Did I just fall down the stairs? Jesus Christ. <laughs> down, 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 down. Huh? Did I pass out? That's not good. My head hurts. Wasn't I going down some stairs? I hope I didn't fall and break my neck. That would be a terrible ending. Uh, Baby, are you down, 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 down? Wait, what? The stairs weren't there before, you're right. Whoa! Wait, hold up. These are not red in my eyes, girl. Whoa! What the? That- that- the top road also was not there. What is this? The door doesn't open. It's a door, okay. What? There's two! What? Let's see. Um, this looks ominous. Oh, it's broken. Okay. Never mind. Which door do we go through then? This one's the usual one. Oh! Okay, let's go through the usual one. Welcome back, Lacey. We missed you at school. Blah blah blah. It's always the same text. Is it the same? I hate them. My locker. Oh. Wait, there's nothing here this time. Wait, so I have to go back. Your dream's different this time, girl. You say it's always the same, but it's not. Okay. Second door. Oh. Hmm? Lacey, there you are. I called you several times, didn't you hear me? Uh, I need you to go get me a... A, a what? A knife, Lacey. Oh. It shouldn't be too hard to find. It's in the closet in the garage. Okay. A knife, Lacey. I like how it says mother question mark. It's my other mother. Coraline reference. The surfaces are completely flat and there are no handles. It only looks like a kitchen on the surface. Whoa! Uh, what's happening? I don't feel so good. Oh shit. Where did she say it was? Looks like I got the knife somehow. Oh, okay. Look at me. Oh, I like how my inventory and my dreams stay consistent. That's cool. Well done. Off you go. Uh. Pick up red item too. Okay. Oh. Hello? Interesting. I'm still not sure what the dreams are supposed to signify. Where am I? 
Is this a prison cell? I need to find a way out. All this just to try to find red is crazy. <sighs> Girl, why is he so hard to get a hold of? Couldn't I just wait at his house until he came back? Like, that would have been such a much easier solution than this. Um, my door wasn't even locked. Okay, it was just open? Subject 66. Age 38. Sex female. Status incapacitated. Extraction scheduled. Priority medium. That's not me. Someone else must have been kept in here. Hello? Looks like human bones. Amazing. Brother. Subject 41, 53, male, incapacitated, priority low. Should I be going in here? Oh, they're all dead. Fun. This one? Subject, age 13, male, incapacitated. Extraction on hold, awaiting further results, follow-up text schedule, priority high. Hello? He's also dead. Jesus, is anybody alive in here? This fan is suspicious. It's almost like it's inviting me in. Okay, well, can't reach it, so... Hold on. These are my things, most of it anyway. I hadn't even noticed I lost them. Why are they here? Because they took them off of you. Duh, girl. Don't be dumb. You think you just go into jail of your shit? <laughs> the door doesn't seem to open, so I am trapped in here. After all, not just in that tiny cell. I suppose that's less bad. All right, vent it is. What? I can't push it. Oh, wait. Yes, indeed. We shall. After all this, I swear to God, Red better get this curse off of me. I swear to God. I'm like, I'm still confused what her objective actually is. Like, does she just want to get the curse removed and then return back to normal life? Or, oh, Red, is that you? Ow. There's someone there! Wait, I have something for the situation. What? Salt? Oh my god! <laughs> she just threw salt at him! Uh. Uh. Did you just throw salt in my face? Y yes Uh, why? I, I thought you were a demon. And if I was a demon, you'd think table salt would've stopped me. When you put it like that, it makes me seem silly, but I swear, I didn't have any holy salt. That's ridiculous, salt has no effect. I read it somewhere. This is the funniest shit that happened all week. Sorry, sorry. I'm Sai. You're not red? <laughs> Bitch, please. I'm begging you. All I need to find is this one dude. How hard can it be? Was he the guy on the bus? What brings you to a place like this? Oh, I see, I see. Wow, really? Who are you talking to? I didn't say anything. I know, it's a joke. I have social anxiety. I don't understand jokes. Just filling the silence. You're not really talkative, huh? No, not really. What? Wait, you're just- you're just leaving! Yes? That's not where the exit is. Why don't we... Um... On second thought, that direction's good. Go, go, go! Oh... Uh, okay. You don't want to run into that thing. Better hide here. Okay. Oh, yeah, this is definitely a great place to hide. Thank you so much. This place looks worse than just staying out there. Girl, we don't even know if this guy is like a psychopath, sociopath, serial killer. He could have killed all these people. Holy crap, this room is worse than just staying in the hallway. Yeah, you don't say. 